How are you guys today? The German here again and welcome to the third part of Saving Aston Villa or Do It Better. Uh, this is the Dr. Benji FM challenge uh, as Just Mike Plays uh, calls it and um, I think it's a good uh, uh, title for the series. The aim is of course avoid relegation with Aston Villa, uh, the team which ended the rock bottom at the Premier League this year. So, yeah, first of all, let's go and see where did Aston Villa be in in the league when 24 games was played. And like you see here, Aston Villa were at the bottom of the league as they ended ended to be probably the whole the, uh, entire season. I think they did win the first game, but after that. It did go, didn't go well. Uh, 24 games, 2 wins, 7 draws, 15 losses, 18 goals, 40 conceded. <laughs> that is a lot. Minus 22 goal difference, only 13 points. 13 points in the league and let's see, what do you think how we have done? So let's go and see it right now. Yeah, we are at 12th position, 24 games, 9 wins, 6 draws, 9 losses, plus 1 goal difference, 33 points, uh, that is 20 points more than uh, Aston Villa did have in real life. Uh, so I think, I think we have done really, really well, despite the fact that if we go to our games, the last time when we were here, we did win the game against Southampton 2-1. But after that, five, four games in a row without a win and there is also that FA Cup third round game against Sheffield United, which we did lose 2-0. So both cup competitions uh, we were in, we did lose against Sheffield United and we didn't uh, make a goal. So yeah, it's not good. But after that Southampton game, we did lose against Tottenham 2-0 away game. Really disappointing game if we look at the stats for that game. Uh, they were pretty even in shots on target, but uh, of course Tottenham at home, they did, uh, they did control the game a lot more than us, but still it was slightly disappointing. After that there was <laughs> goals galore against Everton at home. We did lose 4-3 scoreline and if we look the stats in this game, Muhammad Besit got sent off in 47th minute and they uh, scored 3 of their 4 goals after that. Romelu Lukaku scored hat-trick, Jack Grealish, Adam Traore and Will Keane our goal scorers. Uh, we deserve more from this game than we get, which was a defeat and zero points. And, but, but nevertheless, we show that we can score goals, but our defense was awful. If we look the ratings, 6.54 and 3 there, not good. After that was the FA Cup game, with which we did lose. And yet again in league 3-1 defeat against Manchester United away game. Carles Gill our only goal scorer under Herrera, Anthony Marshall and Phil Jones scored for Manchester United. And yeah, they did control the game. In the first half we did have chances and uh, it could go either way, but in second half Manchester United um, pushed the battle to the middle and yeah, they did cruise control in a 3-1 victory there. But the last game gave us hope and uh, it was home game against Sunderland and we did win the game 2-0 scoreline. Ashley Westwood and Adama Traore are goal scorers. Uh, the stats were pretty even but uh, oh, we capitalized our chances and uh, were the better side in the pitch that day. But today we have home game against Chelsea. They are third in the league and uh, yeah, let's go and see 
Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I almost forgot. We had that transfer window, so let's go and see our transfers first. So, in the outs, there was only one guy who left <laughs> for our team, and it was Connor Erkin. Yeah, he, he was poor in those games that he did play. Only five games, I recount, or six in league this year. And uh, yeah, we did bought him for three million and sell for six, so we made good profit there. Uh, in there was a lot of guys to come for our team. First of all, Diego Falsinelli, 1.3 million uh, from Sassuolo. A good solid striker. I, ha I have had him a couple of series before, uh, a couple of saves uh, that I have done, and he he had been really good. Uh, only two games so far, n nothing special there. Of course, gelling into the team takes some time, but he can play into the striker position or neither uh, of those wing positions. Then the big transfer, Azmir Pekovic from Chelsea for 10 million euros. We needed a good solid goalkeeper, and uh, Begovic is one of the one of the uh, best goalkeepers in the Premier League, and I think he is much better than Brad Guzan is. So uh, I was very happy for the transfer there. Then Gonzalo Martinez asked out, um, gave a, gave the hint for him, and uh, 3.6 million. We needed backup for those. Uh, wing positions because there was a lot of injuries uh, for those positions. Sc uh, Scott Sinclair mostly and Jack Creelis was playing a lot of games so we needed somebody to rotate him and uh, Gonzalo Martinez looks really really good guy. Uh, 22 years old, already 5 million valued and we only paid uh, uh, 3.6 million for him. Joe Gomez is a backup for those defensive positions. Our central defense have been leaking too much for this season and uh, I hope that Joe Gomez is a good, good solid backup for us for those positions. Therefore, that loan deal, deal that I got was really good. I also bought Rolando from Marseille 1 million euros. Uh, also another striker can play also defensive midfielder or even a sweeper um, libero role but mainly in the uh, central defense position 30 years old uh, uh, experienced guy uh, 19 appearance in portuguese national team so i think he will be gaining some game time also so if we looked our squad yeah we have a big squad now um, I tried to offload Gusan or Ban, nobody was interested. Also tried to offload Kieran Clark, uh, nobody was interested. Rudy Kestet was one of the guys I think I uh, thought also to sell, but yeah, I, I didn't offload him uh, solely because I think Wilkin, Kestet and Falsinelli can all play for the remaining games, so and of course, John and Ayu is now back from his injuries. He is our main striker, so that we have options to rotate in those remaining games. But now to the game against Chelsea, and here we are with our lineup today: Asmir Bekovic on goal, Jordan Amavi left back, Joe Gomez got his debut now, Jorez Okore, and. Uh, Michael Richards on right hand side. Ashley Westwood, Gary Gardner in middle. On left, we have Gonzalo Martinez, Carles Gil in middle, and Adama Traore on right hand side. And Jordan Ayu back from full health, and he is starting to our striker position. In bench, we have Diego Falsinelli, Jolion Lescott, Idrissa Kaye, Jordan Vertu, Jose Angel Crespo, Scott Sinclair, and Will Keen. Actually, I'm gonna change Crespo for Brad Guzan, and therefore we have a, uh, another goaltender also in the bench. But let's go to the game and uh, let's see how we are gonna do against Mighty Chelsea. And the game is underway. We are starting 
Attacking from left to right and of course Chelsea <laughs> Other way around Ayu got the ball to kill and the first highlight was over Aspilicueta to David Lopez Back to Aspilicueta, Fabregas now closed them down David Lopez Fabregas, Hazard got the ball Finds William and he strided to shoot and Gone wide there Martinez is free, can he cross it? Are you got a chance? Ah, Gary Cahill! Foul, foul, Gary Cahill fouled it. We win the uh, penalty shoot. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how to speak now. Are you got a chance? M will he make 1 0 to Aston Villa against Mighty Chelsea? Into the middle, and we are leading 1 0. Jordan, are you sixth goal of the year? He suffered two se uh, severe injury for this season and have played. Only few handful of games and uh, Therefore six goals Is a really good amount and he's our best goal scorer uh, Despite the fact that he had missed a lot of games this year Calm and collective um, Shot there into the middle of the goal and not uh, nothing Courtois can make Maybe make there now we have uh, attacking again as Blikweta takes the ball Finds William, don't let him cross. Falcao, oh, tried to hit it to the back post, but it's gone wide. And the first half is over. We are leading 1 0. Don't get complacent there, and my phone like vibrates and makes sounds there. Don't mind that. <clears throat> mind that we are 1 0 ahead of Chelsea <laughs> in home game. We have only one shot on target, but they only have two, so we our defensive have been really good in this game. Abmavi finds Martinez. Can we create a goal in the first highlight here? No. Okay, he'll to corner. William now. And Joe Gomez have been really good on those on that central defender position in this game. Now Adama Traore got the ball. What he can do. Two players ahead of him. Go past first, go past second. Kill got the ball now. Ayu, can he create a second goal? Martinez. Back to Ayu. Ayu! Second chance, no! Oh, Courtois makes fine save there, but that was a clear cut chance. We have three clear cut chances already. They have only one. Mm, should we. Let's see, go advanced. Uh, I don't know. They are playing this V formation. Diego Costa only striker. I don't. Yeah, let's do that only. Are you? Don't get sent off now. Um, only lecture there. No. No card. Seventy-one minutes gone. Should we make a substitution? Cardinal um, looks really, really nervous. Also. Are you looking complacent? Um, let's take Gardner off and bring Gaye for that position. Let's give him some faith. There's a lot from you to come. And uh, are you got that yellow card now? Chelsea making substitution. Oh, uh, and Martinez pull at hamstring. We need to take him off. Let's bring Scott Sinclair, one of our better men, into the team. Uh, that is a shame that Martinez got that bullet hamstring in the first game of his Aston Villa career. And Diego Costa tried to shoot there, but it's gone wide yet again. Six, 86 minutes. Now we need. I wanna make one substitution. I take kill off and bring Jordan Ver 2 and um, put Kaye on that defensive mid. Ver 2 there and uh, deep. Advanced playmaker support and yeah, control. And uh, we have half the faith now. Gomez clears it again. Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez have been really, really good on that central defender position. And um, Asmir Begovic, of course, new goalkeeper there and making really good saves. Oscar. Ivanovic to Hazard. They got the chance. Richards clears it. Now Gil got the ball. 
finds Adama Traore. Can we make a 2 0 goal here? Cross, are you. Oh, you got the chance in the back post. He had that time to make the goal. Now don't concede the later stage of the game. Not this time. Azpilicueta got the ball. Close him down. Diego Costa. Okora clears it to Adama Traore. Clear, clear the ball away. Richards finds Ayu. Ayu got the time there. Tried it to cross it, but it clears. Okore. Oscar now. Where is our defensive mid? Where is our midfielders? Now close him down. Don't let them cross. Oh, Richards. Oh, what a save there. Now clear the ball. Okore, go for the ball. Clear it to the Ayu. Ayu now should cross it to the back post. There is man, man of... <laughs> he tried it to shoot and it's gone over. We are at the extra time now. Let's let's make one more substitution. We cannot make any any player changes. Let's drop those wingers back. Go for defensive. Or waste time. Pump ball in the box. Take those exploit flanks off. Hit early crosses. Uh, go route one much lower tempo and uh, I think this could be can we win this this would be really really good win for us no Ivanovic try to cross we block it Fabregas to Kurtzuma to Fabregas Amavi Scott Sinclair oh, you got the ball now Sinclair go forward go for the corner flag good and that would be goal kick, but we we take minute of of that time there and oh Diego Costa is through, close him down, finds Oscar, cross it Diego Costa, Fabregas, Hazard, clear it now Ivanovic, oh it's a ping pong game now, how the hell it's corner kick now Pedro, don't oh. And the last minute of extra time going on. They have a throw in. Occorre to Pedro. Hazard. Oh man, that, that was close. Surely the game is over. Take the time, Begovic. Take the yellow card. And we win 1 0 against Chelsea. Oh man, what a game. Really special. Nobody expected that. And with that win, we are now. 11th place, 25 games, 10 wins, 36 points, and we are uh, 13 points ahead of Crystal Palace, who's that 18th position. And uh, yeah, next time when we are seeing, it's gonna be the end of the season game against Barnemont. So, if you have liked this, please hit that like button. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have own uh, do it better save hashtag do it better in Twitter uh, and we can see how you are doing and um, yeah of course just Mike Blaze have done his own do it better save with with Aston Villa and of course the creator himself Dr. Pe Benji FM have done it so those uh, channels are in the description so go and give the sub or like and uh, comment those videos for two, those two guys they are awesome content creators so big hand for them and yeah we are seeing when it's time to end the series so until next time <laughs>